Hello, welcome back to the channel. Trust this video finds you doing all right, playing some D&D or whatever else on Foundry and having a good time. Tonight I'm going to jump right in and kind of talk a little bit more about a, another module that I use. It's a module that if you have used Roll20 previously, you might be familiar with. It's uh, called Beyond 20 by a community developer named uh, Kakaroto. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Uh, you can find it here in the Foundry VTT uh, website, kind of see a little bit more information. It's the Beyond 20 Companion module. We're going to talk about two things, one the module as well as the browser extension. And we'll talk quickly what they are and everything. If you go here, you can click the project URL, which will take you right to his site. And you'll, So again, if you've used uh, Roll20, you're probably familiar with this let you know how to install it either in Chrome or Firefox I've only used Chrome it's what I use primarily so I've not tried it in Firefox it's got features some screenshots uh, FAQ support what he has here is Roll20 support Foundry Discord which I've not done any Discord D&D Beyond Dice Roller which I do not have access to yet hopefully maybe soon uh, we're going to talk about the Foundry integration tonight since that is what we use so if you're the DM, and uh, first thing you probably want to do as a DM is install the module. So back in your DM screen here, you can uh, do a search for it, and you'll see it come up here, Beyond 20 Companion Module. And go ahead and install that, and I believe that allows you to uh, your players who might not be using it to see some of the roles and information come across D&D Beyond. Once that's done from a game master, you know, just fire up your game and, and go. So let's uh, launch in our game here, and we'll see it hopefully in action. So as a player playing, oops, pardon this one for another really cool module that I use as well. Shout out to the token mold. So if you're a player and you, or a game and you guys keep your characters on D&D Beyond, which D&D Beyond is a, is a pretty awesome site that uh, lets you store, have campaigns, create characters. You know, the characters look really sim similar to, you know, the pen and paper version of your character sheet. And what this module does, it allows you to kind of run this as your character sheet and ro make your roles within the game. Now, if you're playing Foundry, there's no problem at all. You can double click here. You can use you know, your Foundry if you've used the VTTA uh, Beyond extension and imported your data, it, it would look the same. But you can run roles from within here or through D&D Beyond. I enjoy running it from D&D Beyond because it, it's just fun, especially if you have a double, uh, like a double monitor. Put the character sheet on one monitor and keep your game open here and kind of make your roles from there. But once you have the extension installed, you're going to need to activate it. You'll probably get a pop-up that says, "Hey, you know, activate it." Uh, once you does, once you do that, it will be able to kind of see the information come across. There are a few options within here. You know, you've got your net whisper roles, type of role by default. I believe it does normal roll, but you can do the always roll twice, which is similar to how uh, roll twenty has it. Roll with advantage. So if you know your DM's like, hey, roll with advantage. You can just you know click that button. So how it works is once you have it installed and up and running and integrated, you go to your character, and then from pretty much anything within there, if you see this beyond 20 uh, right here, again, and even if you click that, it opens up another option screen and some more detailed options there. All you have to do is click it. So let's say, hey, we need to roll for initiative, right? So we click that the sidebar will open up and you'll see it beyond 20. When you click that, here the dice roll, go back in here, and of course, you know, I don't have combat, so I don't, it's not gonna work. You see, I've got something that just showed up here, right? Initiative from my character was just rolled. So it gives you a great way to just kind of run stuff. So let's say you, you know, you need to run um, you know, maybe a charisma saving throw or something, right? So here we go. We're going to run that and it'll let you know, hey, charisma save right there, right off the top. Or, if, you know, they're like, hey, run a dexterity check. So we can run a dexterity check and again, it'll kind of show up right there. Of course, most of us are looking at from a combat perspective. How does that work? 
So you would click your, your weapon within D&D Beyond. Two options here, you've got a Beyond 20, which will fire off the roll. You also have a display in VTT. So as an example, you know, you're playing a, this one, a sorcerer, and you're like, I'm not sure if Ray and Frost works, or somebody asking a question about it. Uh, you, you know, you can just hit display in VTT, and it will show uh, a breakdown of what that uh, spell is, or everything going you know along the line with that, which is which is super cool. And of course, you can now then cast it. This one, you know, and of course, if you hit that drop down arrow, it'll show the same information. So you roll to eight, and then if it's a hit or whatever, then you can roll your damages uh, and how it breaks down. Highlight over it, let you know one die eight, one d eight, or whatever. So it's a really simple way of just kind of integrating. Uh, d and Beyond content within Foundry. So I'll show you super quickly here. Let's say you need to roll with advantage. So when I hit always roll twice, you'll see a two here. So now if I do you know that, you'll see two rolls, right? You, you pick one. If it's like you know roll 20, you're kind of picking the one on the left typically. Or if your DM is like, hey, you need to roll with uh, disadvantage. This changes to like a little minus symbol. Again, when you run it, you'll see two rolls, or this one. Why it rolled three, I'm not sure. And now you've got that, unless did I actually click on, oh, roll with super disadvantage, ha, huh, no wonder. <laughs> so let's just do normal uh, disadvantage. Hit that, and now you've got the two rolls. And the same thing with advantage. So again, if you're running, you know, Foundry, you're a player or a DM, and you want that, you know, put on the the uh, Beyond 20 module, companion module, which allows some of this chat integration to kind of show up. And then, as a player, get the extension and run it, and then there you go. You can run, you know, your character. So this one, as example, let's say uh, as a one last example here, right? So I'm down to 10 hit points. And the DM's like, hey, you, you know, you heal for five for some reason. So I'll hit heal. And now you look here, guess what? My character already healed up. So again, super awesome way to kind of manage that. Just a super highlight. I uh, hope you guys like this. Again, hit subscribe if you like it. And I'll try to put some more out. And uh, once more, happy gaming. Stay safe. Talk to you later.